Hello everyone, we're going to do a little review on the uh, VFD. I'll go ahead and turn the power on to it here. Takes about five seconds for it to kick on. Goes through a little self diagnostics when it first comes on. And I hope I have enough light here. I got a couple lights out here, fluorescent lights out. So, um, real quickly, we'll just show you some of the functionality of the uh, control. This particular one here, as you see, two little arrows over that allows you to select the different settings along the top. Right now, it's flashing for where the uh, input would be for the RPM and then you have different settings for frequencies uh, amperage show age uh, and then a number of other things the most important ones you'll have are for um, your frequency setting and then of course you'll mainly be showing your RPMs now the way this is wired Try and see if I can get in here to get a decent look. Is you've got uh, three wires in here. They're going to have your 220 coming in. There are three connectors for three phase, or you connect two 110 lines for 220 single phase. And basically, the layout in the book looks like this you've got your R, S, and T. Uh, those are going to be for your power inputs. The furthest one to the right, the E, is your ground or neutral ground. So for three phase, you'll have the RST connected. For a single phase, you're going to connect the R and the S, uh, and then your neutral ground will go over to the E. The uh, P and the PR are for a uh, uh, a braking capacitor which you're not using and then the U, V and W are for the outputs to the spindle for the different uh, phases and the way I wired mine up was basically is uh, in sequence 1, 2 and 3 poles to the motor would be U, V and W uh, on the on the board and I'll see if I can get in here show you over here so I have the three lines going out in the phase uh, that would be the uh, basically the white black and red wires there go out to pole one two and three and then the ground wire also connects to that uh, for connecting up a pot switch or to a control board and I'll try and see if I can get this in here as to how it's wired basically you have five wires Okay, um, you have two wires, the green and the blue I have here are for activating the on-off. You have uh, basically the DCM, which is the digital ground, and then you have a forward and reverse. Now I found that when I had it connected to the forward, the spindle actually ran uh, counterclockwise, which would actually be reverse. So I hooked it up to the reverse and it runs clockwise. So I don't know if it's a setting in here that I have to change for that. Uh, that's uh, the way I have it set right now so it runs properly. Then you have an AMC which is your uh, analog ground for your pulse wave modulation input. Then you have a 10 volt uh, which is an output. So these two uh, are ground in 10 volts and then the V1, the V1 is the feedback into the control here uh, that allows you to change the analog voltage from 0 to 10 to uh, control the RPMs. <clears throat> so that would be what you would hook to your pot switch um, or to your control board. And real quickly, and I just have it kind of hanging here. As to what I've got, here's the on off switch. Turns the spindle off and on. And of course, you got the pot switch. So the back side here is the uh, ground. And then uh, the 10 volt. And then this is the uh, V1 output for the variable frequency. As you can see, you can adjust it up and down. 
So it's actually quite simple to hook the pot switch on if you're going to run it manually uh, or connect it to your board if you have a board that allows the uh, pulse wave modulation output. Um, how to kind of program this uh, basically is as you select this button here which is the program button and it'll call up the PD commands and if you hit the set button it'll display let's see, zoom back out here a little bit it'll display the inputs and then you can change it by using the up and down arrow keys in this particular case uh, I really didn't want to change that one and then simply just by hitting the set button you go up to the next one P2 P3 P4 and so forth <clears throat> and if you press the arrow keys you can see you can move it over to the next line for instance this is 400 hertz right now if you hit the down arrow key it changes it to three back up changes it to four uh, or you can start really fine if you want for instance now it's flashing on the first decimal place so you know up and down arrow keys Oops, I can't go any higher than 400 so <laughs> down arrow keys you know, down to 395 Hertz um, which this one needs to be set to 400 so um, and you get an end after you change a parameter uh, and it shows up for instance if I wanted to go to P12 I can use the arrow key here to move over I can select one um, and then keep moving till I get that so now I'm on P12 hit the set button and that's what P12 says uh, keep going up P15 uh, that one is set at 3 16 again I have the uh, parameter inputs that I have set here um, uh, that I posted on uh, my uh, build that I'm doing here under CNC zone uh, so basically that's the function of it um, just pressing the arrow keys uh, or the jog yeah. the pressing the arrow keys lets you change the display um, and also when you go into program I uh, press the program button uh, you can use the arrow keys and the shift key to go between different settings and then when you hit the set that takes you into the parameter setting and you can use the jog button to move over to your various uh, decimal place positions and then you can use the arrow keys to change the numbers uh, real quick and easy and then you hit set see an end and that puts you back into uh, ends the program and it's been set and uh, it's it's really not that hard to do uh, just play around with a little bit before you hook your spindle in and uh, the settings that I showed there um, make it pretty easy if you follow those ones you should be if you have a 2.2 kilohertz uh, Chinese spindle like I do then uh, if you follow that uh, setup sheet for the parameter inputs you put those ones in there you'll get uh, everything basically working properly uh, you'll have the proper RPM displays and so forth and um, I, I think that's a good little gist right now for uh, setting it up if anybody has any questions please post and uh, I'll do my best to answer them okay thanks for watching